tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a weird sort of unusual black and white op art design in Photoshop CC 2014. Basic same approach can be used in earlier versions as well, CS6, etc., PC or Mac. Now, just going to go with black, but first thing to do, because I want to actually create, use it patterns, I'm just going to create it on a layer, so a new, new layer. Click OK. So you can see it's on a layer there. And I'm going to add the first part of the uh, design. So just black ellipse. That's using the ellipse tool over there. I'm going to remove the background. So just go over there, delete. And now I've just got that design there. Well, obviously, it's not going to be a very interesting op art design. So I'm just going to select white now. And I'm just going to create another ellipse there. And I'm just going to create them in different positions. So it's quite fairly thin lines, but I'm just going to go back now to white. So you just bring up the swatches palette and just go backwards and forwards between black and white. Very quick and easy as much. As, well, you could also, of course, set up over here, you could set that to be white and that to be black and then just click between the two. That's another way of doing that. So I'm just going to select black again. And you can, of course, make any number of variations of this sort of similar sort of design, maybe making it go crunch up the side or maybe more uniform than that. So I'm just going to just more whites and another black. Again, and change the position. You don't have to keep it exactly the same. Right, so I've actually got that design now. That's going to be the source for the pattern. So I'm just going to go now to Edit and Define Pattern. Click OK. Right, once I've done that, I'm just going to go to now another document. And I'm actually just going to create this using the Edit and fill pattern and I'm just going to select the one because I've actually created some earlier obviously just some test runs so I'm just going to select that design that was the one I just created click OK now what happens it comes up with a dialogue and because it's got transparency you can actually just apply it over and over again and it just will build up fill up the document because unfortunately the density here doesn't actually fill the entire document uh, the preview doesn't actually match often so but you can also vary the size so I'm just going to say maybe make a obviously a much larger design as well as some small designs and I'm also going to rotate as well rotate the pattern so there that's why I created it as an ellipse and not as a circle so I can actually just rotate them around to create again, more unusual patterns so you can apply that once go to fill pattern and again come up the same dialogue and again shows you a preview that's not exactly accurate and again finally fill pattern and of course now you could actually what you could do is actually create different designs and then obviously each time you apply the pattern you could select a different pattern so it would be uh, using one of the other ones so I'm just quickly going to show you that fill and I've, this is one I created earlier in the patterns. So, but the key thing here is, of course, is make certain the script is on and random fill option. And you can select, say, that one as well. So click OK. And that will obviously just use that pattern instead of this earlier one there. And that just overlaps on that one. So you can still see some of the underlying pattern. Well, not much of. Anyway, I hope you found this of interest. I'd say it's a great, great way of creating op art designs in thousands of different ways.